What's up guys? In this series, I'm gonna be calling it Yes You Can, and I'm going to be showing you a bunch of movements that have weird names, or you may have seen other people do, and you're like, I could never do that. But it's a way for me to spark what the movement is, how it can be scaled, and how you already probably do it in your daily life. <laughs> so let's take the scaries out of lifting things up and moving things around and show you just how valuable they are and how much you use them. So here we go. So gathering all that stuff up today, what we're gonna focus on is the front squat. And all the front squat means to me is having something front loaded and being able to bend down and get back up. Whether you pick something up while you're down there, I mean, that's probably why you're going down there in the first place. Like you're holding a baby and they drop their pacifier. So you don't wanna put the baby down. You just kind of like scoot down and pick it up. Um, it's just to be able to do that safely. And front squatting helps build um, that trunk stability, right? So from here, your big, your big strong pieces of that. So when we think about the squat in general, the front squat, I guess we're gonna just gonna kinda just like simulate that. When we think about the front squat, your feet are gonna be about shorter width, maybe a little bit wider apart. You guys are gonna put your hands in, this, in the front of you because that's just the easiest way for me to get you to comprehend like front squat, shoulders are down, nice long neck, all right? You guys are going to feel for the middle of your feet. So if you feel right now with your big toe, right, those are your toes. If you rock your body back a little bit, you'll feel your weight shift onto your heels. You really wanna feel the middle of your foot. So dig your big toe knuckle into the ground and think of just finding that mid balance, middle of your foot. With this, the next piece is you're gonna take your midsection, all right? So you take your pelvis here, and you're gonna take it and you're gonna rock it underneath of you. This is where things get a little bit weird, but the more you know me, the less weird it is. Because it's never weird for me, but you take your pelvis, okay? And this is what we call the stacked position. So you'll take that, and this is what broken looks like. So ribs are up, butt is out. This is where a lot of lower back issues come from because there's a disconnect between hips and ribs. So what you're gonna do is take the pelvis and you're gonna rock it underneath of you, boom. And your goal is to keep it underneath of you the whole time you squat, okay? It's gonna wanna creep out. It's gonna wanna kinda like do this wiggly thing at first because you are learning, okay? Be graceful with yourself. But that is our goal to keep the hips underneath and keep everything stacked so that this can use work as one unit instead of, you know, it's like a, you're like a pillar. You're like a hinging pillar of strength instead of being like, wobbly and broken, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna set your feet, you're gonna find the middle of your foot, see me? You're gonna tilt your hips underneath, you're gonna put your hands together. Now, when we go down into this, I want you to send your butt back just a little bit and send your knees forward. I know that you've been told not to send your knees forward, but there is no way for you to get into a squat position unless you kind of fold, right? But you're gonna be heavy thinking about staying in the middle of your feet, okay? When the knees move, which is probably what you're used to hearing and what people tell you not to do as far as knees forward, what you are thinking about when that happens is your knees move and your hips don't and it looks like this. This is very heavy on the ankles, right? A lot of stress going on with the knees and with the quads. It just doesn't feel very good and there's nothing happening back here, which is why a lot of people squat in the first place to get a booty, okay? So what you're gonna do is tuck the hips underneath of you Find the middle of your foot and then simultaneously push the butt back just a little bit and let the knees bend. Push the butt back a little bit and let the knees bend. Keep tilting your hips under though, okay? And as you stand up, you're gonna squeeze your butt. Keep tilting the hips under, boom, and stand it up. The difference in the way that looks and the way the other way looks is this. We fold, we come down, we come down, we come down. I let the hips disconnect. I push up with the butt. This starts to be a big arch in the back and that feels awful. Now, I'm not gonna say that you'll never feel that. I mean, I hope that maybe you'll feel that without weight sometimes, but that is a way for you to understand where not to go. So sometimes we have to go there. Do you know what I mean? All right, let me show you with some objects. Okay, so there you go. That box at the end of that time-lapse video was to just show you that sometimes you guys pick up stuff and you, and you get down and you stand back up and you don't even realize that you do it. Sometimes you don't wanna do that though because you are scared of maybe not getting back up or hurting your knee or hurting your back. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to do stuff like that and not have that fear instead of just being like, ah, F it, and going into it anyway and having the possibility of getting hurt. So that's what we're here for. 
Any questions you guys have, make sure you hit me up. I hope that you use this video as a tutorial, but also as an intro to what is available for you in this gym and with my kind of vibe. I love you guys getting stronger and more powerful and having fear being pushed aside. You know, sometimes the unknown is fearful. So when like you look at this stuff around and you're going front squat, they're doing front squats today at 70%. It's just a bunch of letters and words and it just means something different for everybody that comes in here. The goal of the front squat is to get you to pick up the pacifier with the baby in your hand. Cause if they're crying, it's just much easier that way. So questions, hit me up. If not, I hope to see you guys June 1st. Any questions about that as well, bring them on. I hope you guys like this video. Follow me along on Instagram and on Facebook if you'd be so kind and share with your friends. I'll see ya.